Yo, all right, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm doing a new video based on the uh, gas prices, the historical um, thing. Okay, we don't do pre-9-11 because everything's a little different since then. And I like starting from the official beginning of the recession, which was around 2007. So here we go, 2008. So uh, the period of interest is uh, from 2007 till now. That's what I consider to be the modern period because we don't want to go back to the pre-2008 levels because that's uh, speculative at best. Speculation causes bubbles and it's unsustainable. There's way too much going on. And pre-9-11 levels, it's not really going to get to that. Uh, we went into all these wars and spent a lot of money that we don't really have. And, you know, China's been kicking ass since then. And, you know, it's uh, we're probably not going to go back to 3 uh, pre-9-11 levels. Anyway, so I like looking at 2007 till now when trying to think in terms of um, what's going on. What's going on? So I'm about to draw a little chart for you. Um, so the uh, five-year chart for uh, the gas pump price, this is the average. It's from like gasbuddy.com is how I got these numbers. I'm drawing the chart for you over here so I can point some things out. Okay. So, um, let's point out some things. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the first sneeze of 2012. That means spring is here. That was a quick winter, wasn't it? So, uh, our last, last low of about 3.17 a gallon was at, uh, Christmas 11. Let me see, um, the last low before takeoff. Looks like it's about September 2010. Here's another low before takeoff. That looks like it's uh, April 2009. Here's the all time low $1.61. $1.61. That would be amazing. That looks like around Christmas of 2008. Uh, this low before takeoff is around $2 a gallon. And this low before takeoff seems to be around 311 per gallon. Um, this low before takeoff, that looks about three dollars. When was that? It's like February of 2008. Alright, let's look at the highs really quick. Alright, here's our first high. This looks like around 320. When was it? Looks like it's about May of 2007. This high up here, this is the old time high. 412 is the national average. And this was in June to July, let's say July 2008. This little high right here looks like June 2009, and that's about uh, 263, June 2009. Uh, the last high that we had 
looks about 395 and that occurred May 2011 hmm okay I'm gonna look at when this crash happened this crash was uh, September 08 recovery somewhat stable takes off hits a high pullback somewhat stable crashes again this crash eh, it's not really so much a crash because uh, when you look at it on the computer, it appears to be more of a gradual going down. Well, anyway. Let's play the game of trying to predict. That's what you do is you get a piece of paper. You go throughout history like this. Alright, so we're at 320 gas. You think it's going to go up or go down? Then as time unfolds, it explodes. Around summer of 2008 was a very rough time. <laughs> okay, so anyway, those time is coming. That time is coming again soon. And um, there's not much to say at this point. The next thing that I'm supposed to do is get uh, this other piece of paper that I had that had a, a history of uh, silver and gold prices recent times and we gotta compare some of these prices to uh, some of the gold because at the extremes there might be a time where it might be uh, worth selling gas there might be times where it's good to buy gas a lot of times with gas though you don't have a choice because it's still gotta drive around or whatever and, you know but um, you know one thing is I say in times of deflation you're better off buying one gallon at a time because it's only going to be cheaper tomorrow. But in times of inflation, you're better off filling up every single time because it's just going to be more expensive tomorrow. So what kind of trends we got? Um, the trends are that we hit these lows at Christmas. We hit these highs around July or June-ish. But that's inconsistent with this low. Oh, well, there's a takeoff that starts around, um... Okay, so we're going to have a dip around Christmas. And we're going to have a peak around July. There's some trends for you. Alright, so this is what I got for now. I'm going to get to that other piece of paper. I'm going to do the calculations off camera, and I'll get back to you with the good stuff. Thanks for watching.